and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Meme Tier Monday. That's right, we got four decks to play here on this Meme Tier Monday, three donation decks and one other one that put together. Um, this one is based on some Yetis. We're calling this one Yeti Chill um, because we got Yetis and we have Ash. So you may see see that this deck is basically like the Ash Sejuani mid-range deck that's pretty popular. It's basically the same deck, but with Yetis added in. So there's already Avaros and Trapper that can make some enraged Yetis. Um, but then we also have Yeti Yearling, um, again, making some enraged Yetis for us. Uh, Tall Tales. <clears throat> if we have a Yeti, we get to put an Enraged Yeti into play for three spell mana. So that, that's that's a pretty good deal using three spell mana for a 5-5. Five five. So not even just reg three regular mana. Um, especially a deck like this that you know, will have some extra spell mana at times. And one Ancient Yeti at the top end that it's awesome if it's in your opener. Not necessarily that great to draw later on because it's real expensive. But it does have Overwhelm, so that's a nice um, bonus to the an Ancient Yeti <clears throat> later on. So yeah, when like building Yeti decks, there's just still not very mu many Yetis um, as far as Yeti cards, and so we're playing um, we're playing most of the Yeti cards in here, and then uh, and then of course going with just some other good Ash Sejuani stuff. So there we go. This is Yeti Chill. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked, like like we usually do with our meme tier decks. Also, we'll play them in ranked. Um, you know, definitely hoping for a we need a Iceborne Peak for our chill deck. Definitely hoping for like a uh, 500 record, but of course with five games, you can't really have 500. So three and two would be awesome. Um, we'll see We'll see how it does. So then we got our other decks for today. We got Professor Taskmaster, which is going to be Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster and a whole bunch of one drops. And it's got Teemo in there and um, Jinx. I haven't played a Jinx deck in a super long time. So that'll be nice playing a Jinx deck again. Um, let's see, that's gonna go... Um, yeah, we'll just take out the Archer team. All right, awesome, Mukton. Um, check out... Or let's see, as far as... The as far as budget decks, there's there's two that I like, uh, Championless Elusives and and uh, with, I guess there's two different Championless Elusives decks, um, one with Freljord and one with Noxus. I'll try to get you links to both of them. Here we go. Um, no, Undying's not the best. There you go, those two. I need just a moment. They cannot hide. I sure hope they don't have um, Static Shock, but I don't know if their deck really plays Static Shock. I was like short circuiting there. I was like, but three or less power has zero. Okay, nice. Um, and then the other thing to do, Mukton, is um, if you would, uh, if you go to Mobilitics, the site where all my decks are, on the left hand side, there's different tabs. There's one that says. Um, <clears throat> there's one that says deck library go to the deck library there's different options there and one of them is budget and you can click on there and, and click on budget and some of them are just some 
uh, starter upgrades. And so that could be another thing to to look at. Bow to no one. All right, what Shen deck would I recommend? Okay, I have. All right, so Shen. We played Shen just the other day. There you go. Today we fight as one. I guess I'd, if they're gonna use. Go like this. If they use like twin disciplines to protect it, it doesn't matter which one I do. Um, but if they use like Will of Ionia, I think I'd rather have them bounce the Hearth Guard. Yeah, like so, Spirit's Refuge doesn't really matter which one we do. Possible the last turn instead of playing the Sejuani and doing that, I should have just done Ash with that because then I could have had Ash and Culling Strike. I guess it's get shuffled back into their deck. Not necessarily gone. Gone. The dark beckons. Only the finest serve. All right, that'll help. Two good defensive cards here with the Brittle Steels. The Trapper can go find an Enraged Yeti for us. Down to three. Ooh, not bad. Ah, oh, the sweet smell of science. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Culling Strike this. Probably Harsh Wind these, these things. Oh, right, never mind. I'm one man short of, of Harsh Wind, so never mind. 
We'll just harsh winds right here. Just gotta hope that they don't have six points of burn in hand. Because obviously they're very dead if they don't have six points of burn in hand. <laughs> they're at three, but they could be at like 30 or whatever. All right, so they didn't do too much with the Yetis. They didn't really draw the Yetis. Now we rebuild. Yeah, so the you can see the arrow here says what, what deck we're on. So yeah, we're on Yeti Chill um, with that arrow. Yeah, and that was our first, first win. <clears throat> yep, that was the first game today. Got, got started just a little bit late. We're kind of finishing putting the decks together and stuff on stream. Um, yep, that was the first game. So starting off good. A win against Vamadinga. All right, Ancient Yeti in the opener. I like that. Uh, we'll get rid of these Brittle Steels. And we'll keep the Sentry. Okay, so like Ancient Yeti plus Tall Tails. We can get some Yetis out here in the mid game. Nothing escapes my wife. The thing is, is Ancient Yeti is like, it's a it's a good like turn four play, but I guess we'll be waiting like, cause turn, you know, turn four it costs four mana. Vessel's small, but she ain't lacking courage. Um. But obviously Ash is a good turn four play also. So. So I can either go Ancient Yeti plus Tall Tales or Ash. Probably Ancient Yeti plus Tall Tales. Put 10 power into play. I really wish I had one more for Brutal Seal to help protect against Withering Whale. Withering Whale would be a nightmare. Drill him in. And so they have Withering Whale. Alert the village. Better than so Ash was the better play against Withering Whale. But, oh well. We're a Yeti deck, I'm playing my Yetis. Yeti deck, I'm playing my Yetis and attacking with my Yetis. Victory requires a sharp blade. Well, that means I don't get to play Ash, which is what I wanted to do, but we'll just play the other Glory Seeker. I need just a moment. For glory. Face me. You're mine. Today we fight as one. So 
We get four damage across. Destroy their board. Definitely important getting Maokai out of there. Trifarian Assessor. Gonna draw some more cards because of this Ancient Yeti. Yes, you are. Thank you. Two more Assessors. Uh, that's unfortunate. It gives them just another chump blocker. So they wouldn't have anything else we could just attack out. Um... Okay, so I could go Ash or Assessor and still have, like, Harsh Winds available. I could just straight up attack. If I straight up attack, I could, like, challenge. And then this thing blocks, like, the 5-1. And they take lethal. Um, yeah, they take very lethal. But let's see. If they have, if they just have, like, removal spell for 5-1 and block the 6, then they only take 7. Um, I think... see. Sejuani is, like, my best card to play, but I can't play Sejuani and... Like anything else. Or if I go Ash, I still have Harsh Winds, or Assessor, I still have Harsh Winds. Carved from the savage cold. I'm just gonna play my best card. Danger pays. Stand and fight. I'll do it myself. Sweet. Yeti chill. The winter's clock. Putting Clear. out ten power of Yetis on turn. On turn four. Not bad. Yeah, Nautilus is fine. They weren't deep. Like, Nautilus would have been an 0-13. That would have been fine if they would have played Nautilus. Like, me having Sejuani, them having Nautilus is better than the alternative. Because of the the uh, trample damage that Sejuani is going to be doing. Right, this is a hand. Um... Maybe we send back Assessor for now. And then what about Archer? We'll keep these two for sure. We'll send back Archer also. Where's some Yetis? No, we need we need a Yeti. We need a Trapper. Yeah, deep decks are pretty scary. Deep decks are pretty scary. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Victory requires a sharp blade. Try to keep up. Have a resin trapper. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The trap is set. All right, the trap is set. No. For glory. That was the worst card to see. You're mine. Blade's Edge is so good against Glory Seeker. This might hurt. It's alright, the Trapper Keeper dealt four damage. Pulling Strike takes down Katarina. Mm. 
Yeah, like like Devourer would have been the Devourer of the Depths would have been like the worst card probably for me to see. Uh, that would have eaten the wind. something. Watch your back. I just want to not attack. No attacks. Pass turn. See, they, they scared. Yep. They scared. Because mm. I'm some good chump walkers. Probably just wait because of reckoning. I don't think I don't think it's really worth it to attack with these and just basically have them lose health whenever I have a reckoning. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Only fools hesitate. So do you do need to be worried about deny? Okay, don't have to be that worried about deny anymore. GG's. The Yeti Reckoning. Dang, the Yetis are for real. We 3 0. Oh. Let's go, Yetis. Hmm. Mulliganing getting all those. I don't really want those. I think I have to mulligan Tall Tales with me not having another Yeti and just trying to find a fast start. Even though that card has high upside. Yeah, this is not, not very good hands. They got their best. They got their one drop. Uh, yeah, the deck list is exclamation point deck. Always gets you the deck list. The code, there's an export button on that website. Uh, top right hand corner for the code. Uh, it's not. Victory requires a sharp blade. Not a great glory seeker. It's not great. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I'll cut them apart. Face me. For glory, you are mine. What if I just pass? Like they pass to me, because they probably want to play. They probably want to play Maokai after I attack, right? Because they don't want me to challenge Maokai. I 
I'm just gonna pass back. It's not like this. It's not even like a good attack for me anyway. <clears throat> I got these reckonings. I'm gonna just kill these things with reckonings. Swiftly now. And then we get ten damage in. Swiftly now. Yeah, I think that was a good pass. I'm thinking that was a good pass. Hey, I think I'm doing good today. We got mean tier Monday and it's starting off well, getting some wins. Yep, there's that Maokai they wanted to play on turn four. Let's see, do I just reckoning away Maokai right now? I'll kill my assessor and kill both of those. Kill both of those. It's pretty important getting Maokai out of there before they just get a free, free toss and everything like that. I could go for lethal if they don't have an instant speed removal spell or you know like a fast speed removal spell i can i could level up ash right now i could just go brittle steel brittle steel flash freeze flash freeze attack gets the other trigger i could just do five things like that um but the, all, the, all they need is anything that kills my five one and then it's not lethal and it's kind of a waste The thing is, like, I don't have, like, the mana to, like, my only card to play right now as far as developing goes, the only card to play is Everos and Trapper. Dang, this is going to be bad. And I, do, I, don't have, I don't have the mana to, like, play Everos and Trapper and do that. Alright, so the very next card's a Yeti from this this first Yeti. We drew two cards. It's gotta be it's gotta be the next card it has to be a Yeti. I was hoping it was this one, of course. And then so the next card's a Yeti, and then one of the next two after that. Actually, no, it has to just be the next one after that, because the top three. So yeah, actually the next two cards are both enraged Yetis. We should still be fine. Maybe. 
We are not fine. Yeah. That devour is a problem. Like, if they- basically, if they have Atrocity, I'm gonna lose. But I can't- I can't make all these things not block now, either. I can make some things not block. Just two things not block. I can't block this elusive thing. No backing down. I guess so I could this I can turn into uh I guess I couldn't beat atrocity. Darn. Should have done that the other way around, I guess. But I mean, they would have just atrocity on their lost turn. Battle, not a lost war. No, I think that, I think that play worked out. I think that was all right, but I don't know. should have waited for what? Just I don't think I should have just chump locked. I don't. I mean, we would have had to chump block two things, right? Like, it, we couldn't, we'd have to chump block with both three threes. Like, if I don't cast harsh, y'all are saying don't cast harsh winds. If I don't cast harsh winds, we have to chump block with both three threes. And so then we're left with just two, we are left with an ash and the five one um, against all those things. And I couldn't, I couldn't make them all. I mean, I guess I could harsh winds. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could have made them all zero power. I mean, I wouldn't play the Yetis pre-combat, I don't think. Because I think we'd have to go straight to attacks. I mean, I couldn't take a big hit. Every single one of those things was lethal. I couldn't just take a big hit. Because I couldn't block the 6-6. Six -six. So everything else was lethal. Right? Or was the 7-7? Seven, seven? Maybe the 7-7 seven, seven wasn't lethal. Okay, never mind. Because they were, what, they were at 16? I, I was at 16? Never mind. I was thinking about... I, I was thinking... Sorry. When I was like, thinking of a lethal, I was thinking with atrocity. So yeah, I could have taken... I could have taken the 7 and the 6. I suppose. Good job, Mr. Key. You made semifinals yesterday. Good. Yeti Yearling. Yeah, good job. But yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Hmm. Is that my best card to Glory Seeker? Maybe not. Sharpen the blade. I was hoping they were gonna play Misfortune here, and then we would be able to Glory Seeker the Misfortune. Right, make it Reigns a card. Fortune favors the bold. It's basically either calling strike or tall tales. I'll be damned. One of the two. The Yeti's gonna die e e like either way. They just didn't even challenge. I guess they'd rather have the Sejuani trigger. 
Well, that's, good. that's good for my tall tales, basically. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Gotta go with the flow. Swiftly now. Uh, yeah, patch 1-3 is coming this week. They have the news about that. Their news website. Just a small balance patch, but they're changing so dates small. around. Lacking courage. So now we're going to have, um, instead of the patch notes being released on Mondays, they're going to release them on Tuesdays. I don't know exactly, you know, like they, so they moved the, how they um, implemented the balance patch on Wednesdays instead of Tuesday. Or sorry, yeah. Because it was, so it was like announced what the patch is going to be on Monday, implemented on Tuesday. And then, you know, just check out. Show me a target. And then they moved it to announce on Monday, implement on Wednesday. And now, now they just moved that back a day also. So now it's just announce on Tuesday, implement Wednesday. And then since they're implementing Wednesday, um, uh, they want to move the, the day for, um, your weekly chest. So then the weekly chest is now going to be on uh, on Thursday instead of Tuesday. They're just pushing everything back. Yeah, there was supposed to be something like that. Like, yeah, Gauntlet. I don't remember the exact name they said in that video. There's supposed to be something like that coming out this month, but it wasn't in that balance patch announcement at all. They got a lot of cards over there. Whole lot of cards. Like, one of them was supposed to be June, another thing July. The War Mother will unite us all! Steal all your cards and make them cheap, cost less. To play is kind of broken. Hey, high tech. Still get to block with two things. Born for conquest. In Avarosa's name. Swiftly now. The time is right. Strike now. Avarosa, guide me. The 
calm before the storm. This isn't even lethal. It's just the best I could do. The game, the game's obviously over. This is the best I could do. If they make that block, I can be lethal. That's a terrible block. Are you kidding me? They just blocked the overwhelm Sejuani. If they just block Ash. I mean, I'm only take, I'm only doing 12. I mean, force them to make the block, I guess. Now begins a new era of peace. You gotta, you know, you gotta play to your outs. That was my only chance of winning was opponent making a really bad block, and I did. So play your outs. All right. Uh, so there we go. Yeti chill. Uh, good run. Um, that last game I shouldn't have won. The fourth game I probably should have won. I, I guess you know, kind of really thinking through it more, um, I could have played around. I, I was thinking I couldn't play around Atrocity, but I guess I really could have, and I could have been fine with uh, double chump blocking and saving the harsh win. So, uh, yeah, you know, like that's that's just kind of how it goes. Um, <laughs> yeah, the opponent being bad though is now. I guess I guess so. Yeah, maybe they just wanted me to win. You never know. Uh, let's see. So anyway, there we go. So that's Yeti Chill. This is basically, you know, the Ash Sejuani deck, which is a, which is definitely a good deck. Um, but you know, we're trying, trying to play these Yetis because that was the challenge was build a Yeti deck. Um, there's just not, there's just not very many Yetis. I hope, I, I do hope they kind of put in more Yetis with, uh, more sets because I mean, I could have like the Icy Yeti in here, I guess. Um, but there's just, there's just not very many actual Yeti cards. So, um, you know, we played four of the five Yeti cards and max, maxed out some of them. So, uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. That's Yeti chill first deck here on meme tier Monday. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you got any other deck ideas for Yetis? Let me know if you've, if you've been doing anything else with Yetis. The other thing that I thought about doing, but it's just, it's really difficult to do, but I kind of wanted to do enraged yetis. Like this would have been a lot jankier, but I mean, it is meme tier Monday. So, you know, the enraged yetis in your deck are the one mana five fives. I kind of wanted to do those and uh, pair Freljord with Ionia and then have, um, was it Kinku Wayfinder? Um, try to do Kinku Wayfinder Allegiance to summon the two uh, Yetis. <laughs> you know, have have Wayfinder put in two five fives. I thought that would have been really cool if if I could set it up. But it, I was I was putting it together, and it, it was just it didn't look like it was going to work out very well. And so I just decided to go with this for Yetis. But I don't know if if y'all want to see if y'all want to see that deck, which may not be pretty, but could could uh, do that at some times. You know, uh, let me know there in the comments. All right, anyway, that's it here for Yeti Chill, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.